okay. I'm all better. I've taken a mental health break for most of the day, and I think I'm all better now. <laughs> For all intents and purposes, the kneeling monk prop is completed. Everything is working fine on it. It's set up. All it needs to have done is those arms completed. So as I said yesterday, I'm gonna wait for the pool season to get a little bit closer and I'll go and pick up some pool noodles. Now, a couple of you suggested uh, looking at the local dollar stores and I actually, actually had done that beforehand. Uh, I didn't see any, so I, actually, I went today. I took a look today again, just in case. And no, uh, there's still nothing out. I'll just wait until they uh, do appear. I'll pick some up, and uh, then we'll finish that up. I'll also keep an eye out for a pillow to fill out the chest area, and then he'll be truly done. But as of now, he's done. I can put him aside, and I can uh, work on my sanity again without having to worry about that damn plug in the solenoid valve. But speaking of the solenoid valve, that's actually what I'm going to do today. I'm going to wire the solenoid valve. The solenoid valve needs an electrical current to operate, so when it's triggered by the sensor, it activates and sends the uh, prop upward. Of course, I'm taking a low-key approach today, doing something uh, relatively simple like this. Uh, I'm also probably going to work on some plaques, some plaque carving today. I've only got a handful more to go, so let's get them done and out of the way, and then uh, I can work on painting them and getting them completed as well. So the first thing I have to do is take this cap off. This, by the way, is the cap I lost in the Home Depot yesterday. I should be able to uh, get another one, but you know what? <laughs> that screw there, that threading, <laughs> I think that's like NPT shit too because it didn't fit in any of those uh, uh, sizing uh, charts. Okay, so I have to remove this screw right here. Okay, I'm not sure if you can see it here. This side is labeled one, this side is labeled two, and this down here is has a grounding, a ground symbol. The one marking is the hot or positive. Two is neutral or negative. And of course, ground is the ground. What I would have to do using this screw is actually push this out. Yeah. Or I can do it like that. <laughs> Just pull it out. This is where we're going to make our connections to. So we need a red and black wire. I'm going to use some wire from this computer power supply. So I'm going to cut off a, a length of the red and a length of the black and use that to wire this together. I'll be using these here. So starting with this here, I just want a good length of wire. So. And do the same thing with the black. The red wire is going to go to the positive, which was number one, which is going to be on this side, and the black is going to go to the neutral, that's on this side. Take our in, push it in. And do the same thing for the neutral. I'll try and show you here. And that's what you're fitting the wire into. Insert it in there and tighten it back there. Just take these wires and I'm gonna thread them through this housing here. to screw this back into here, put it in, screw, and then this goes back on here like this, and now it's wired. 
so simple even I could do it. It really couldn't even be <laughs> much easier than that. So I'm just going to tie this up here with a twist tie. And that way it'll be ready to go when it's time to hook up the prop to whatever switch I decide to use. And there it is. So if I can do it, you sure as hell can. <laughs> and since that was relatively simple, even more simple than I thought, I guess I'll carve some uh, plaques. I did the solenoid valve, wired it up. No magic smoke. Of course, I didn't apply any electricity to it, so who knows, that could still be down the road. And uh, I carved a, a plaque. And it was actually while I was carving the plaque that I decided to uh, end it early today. And that's because uh, Paul Hallenbeck, uh, Mad City Haunt, he did a three or four part video series on using SketchUp with your haunt. And the last installment was using like a floor plan, like feeding it into uh, SketchUp and using that to uh, build up your haunt. I wanted to use SketchUp for the longest time to design my haunt, at least to see it in 3D. So I've been meaning to look at it and I really haven't had a chance uh, to do so. So I think I'm gonna use that opportunity now. So I wanna do that tonight and see what I can do with that. So if you like what you see, Give the video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel if you don't already do so. That way you'll be notified right away when other videos like this are posted. Okay, thanks for watching.